Hello and welcome to my fourth um, wow, <laughs> my eighth tutorial for the application for Teaching Meter for 3DS and DSi. It's a program that, or application that lets you program in basic. I imagine most of you already know this. Now, in this video, I'm not teaching you any new command. Well, if you've seen my other videos, no new commands except for the random, you know, generating random numbers. With, but I'd imagine most of you have already played around and figured out how to do that. But yeah. Uh, I'm really going to be teaching you, or get, giving you examples of great ways to use subroutines and a nice trick with variables. So I'm going to show you uh, the program I made to demonstrate this, which is ultimately my most complex program I've ever made. Even though I could have shortened it, you know, as far as line programming lines go with the semi or the colon, I decided not to for no reason whatsoever. Because I'm a troll. So here we go, the program's loaded. Let me run it. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm controlling the smiley oh Jesus. Smiley face thing with the D-pad. And it's showing the coordinates, and there's a snake, which is moving on its own, it's a computer kind of thing. It's having like a seizure over there, and I can't touch it or so I lose. I'm just gonna try and lose. The reason I lost early is because in order to lose uh, the coordinates for your face in the snake. Their products must be the same, and if you that, and if you lose, but your coordinates don't have to be the same for their products to be the same. And if you under, understood what I just said, then congratulations, you can listen to me. All right, but anyway, on to how I made that smiley face move with the D-pad. So here we go. I'm just gonna start. So CLS clears the screen, clear clears the memory, because uh, I'll get into why I put that there later. Uh, G O equals 10, A T equals 10. Those are two variables. Those are both the coordinates of the snake. And this obviously the snake can't start with you, or else you'll lose immediately. Yeah. <laughs> and then lo locate zero zero. Uh, it's gonna do all this, and it's going to print the X and Y here. So if I don't tell it specifically to print them at zero zero, then what's going to happen is when I try and move the smiley face, the coordinates are going to move along with it. Yeah, I don't want that. And then here we go, lo and here, here's where it starts, locate poop. I didn't even notice it spelled poop until after I, I did this, I swear. So, P-O-O-P. Locate that and print smiley face. We have all the subroutines. Woohoo. And then here we go. I could have made, I, I, I also could have made this whole subroutine list a lot shorter too, but whatever. So, if goat no, that that's later. Well, if go to AA, if button equals eight, which is right on the D-pad, then um, go to AC or else go to ret one. Ret one means return. So yeah. But anyway, add AC PO equals PO plus one. And now since variables don't reset back to zero unless you tell them to, but you know, by using the clear command, which is what that was there. The command was there, you know, there before. If you, if I didn't clear this, then I would kind of resume an old game, I suppose, and lose immediately again. Um, then they'll they'll stay the same. So by doing this, whenever it goes to AC, PO will always increase by one. The X coordinate will always increase by one, making it move right whenever you press uh, right on the D-pad. And that should be a pretty simple concept to understand. And I just did the same for all the other buttons. And if you yes, and also as a forenote, whenever you use if, well not really forenote, but if you whenever you use if, you always have to put in two equal signs. Yeah, <laughs> and then button equals four. La, 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 la. All right, but also here's the problem: when you're doing stuff like this, you don't want to have the thing move off the screen. So what you do is make it so that it can't. So I did if PO equals thirty one. Then go to X safe or Y safe. So, yeah, at X safe, PO equals PO minus one. So that way, whenever you go to 31, it will you'll always move back. You can't see it move back because that's how fast it can be to process things. It'll just look like you're at the edge of the screen, and you can't move on. So you won't be able to see it like flickering there. You won't you won't be able to see it flickering if I said it did. And then Y safe is just the same thing except with the other things. And then there's the all everything else for the oh four parts of the screen. 
And then I'm just going to show you the Snake AI, if some of you are wondering. It's completely random. It's, you know, completely random. It's, and if, um, AIC equals a random number up to five, not including five, up to five. So that's one through four. If AIC, if AIC equals one, then go up. If AIC equals two, then down. A three equals, then three to right, and then, 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 And it's pretty much the same thing as P, O, and P. If it goes to one thing, it's going, if it's one or four, you know, or whatever number it picks, the value for one of the coordinates is going to change. And here, just move around randomly. And I did the same thing so that the snake can't move off the map. Nah, the snake can't move off the map either. Alright, and now since that's pretty much it, and I'm done explaining this program, uh, I'm going to show you or explain to you why I lost. Oh, and um, also, if you're wondering, I'm probably going to make a QR code for this. So if you, you just want to look at it, you can. I lost because it determines whether you lose if you know, you're know you on the same position as the snake. Obviously, that doesn't work because I was too lazy to <laughs> write down the rest of the lines. So, poop equals PO times OP. And goat equals GO times AT. And if goat equals poop, then you lose. So basically, if this the product of uh, the two coordinates equal each other, then you lose. Now that could mean you're on the same space, but it doesn't necessarily, because you don't have to have the same coordinates, uh, you know, for their products to be the same. And that's why it, it that's kind of a bug, and I lost. I could fix that later, but there's really no point in doing it since uh, I don't feel like I need to add anything else to this program. I can just screw around with it. I'm probably gonna fix it because I get bored. But yeah, that was tutorial eight. I really hope you liked it, because I sure did like learning how to do it. I kind of, I still want to hear feedback from what you guys want me to do later. And I will get to it.